Hello, this is Bruce Tremper with the Forest Service Utah Avalanche Center, and we're here in White Pine uh, digging a snow pit. And what we have is just the light, fluffy snow on top, so it's very good riding conditions. And then we have a very hard slab. We have two feet of very hard slab, so this makes it, the snowpack feel very, very solid. And everything looks really good until we get down to <laughs> we got monsters down in the basement. And this is just a very weak facet of snow. You can just shove your elbow up, up to your armpit in this stuff, and it's just this sugar snow that runs through your fingers. So that's the problem, is that, that when you trigger this from a shallow spot, especially, then you can collapse the weak layer. And once you collapse that weak layer, then this entire slab slides. It's difficult to trigger, but if you do, it makes a huge avalanche. Uh, which is very difficult to survive. So those are the difficult conditions that we have now. It's low probability, but very high consequences. And that's a difficult concept to communicate to people. Um, so, and you're not gonna find this instability everywhere. It's only in some places. It's just pockets here and there. But there's no way to know, uh, to tell the safe snow from the unsafe snow right now because so much of it is covered up. So many of the avalanches ran during the storm and then now they're covered up, so you don't know which, ru which is run and which is not. This is a completely intact snowpack here, so none of this ran, and that's why I dug the snow pit here. But this is the kind of thing um, that we're worried about. And then, plus a lot of the, sli the slopes that did slide during the storm, um, they're <laughs> back down to shallow snow again. So we have a continued temperature gradient across this layer. It's remaining weak and it's loading up with more slabs, so they're repeaters. They're loading up again and they're ready to go again. So it's just a very, very tricky season. Uh, at least for me, I'm, I'm not getting on anything steeper than 30 degrees uh, this year unless I can find some very clear evidence that, that it's not gonna slide.